Think you need a fancy DSLR camera to make professional quality videos? Think again. If you carry an iPhone in your pocket, you have some of the most sophisticated video capture technology available. Using the right techniques, you can use your iPhone to make beautiful, professional videos for your brand. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how. Let's get into it. Hello creators, I'm Ben Tolson from Podia, where we empower creators like you to make a living doing what you love. Ever since the first iPhone was released, it's been steadily closing the gap between the quality that was once only possible with prosumer DSLR cameras and the amazing images and videos you can now create with the newest iPhones. Not only has the hardware improved with every iteration, but the software that processes the images is top of the line. I'm using an iPhone 10 with the latest iOS, definitely not the best iPhone available, and still with the right techniques and methods, I can use it to make professional quality videos. Let me show you how. To get started, let's talk about talking head and vlogging shots. In this section, we're going to cover six different practices to improve your video quality. First, adjust your camera settings. While the default filming modes on your iPhone look great, a few small tweaks can make them look even better. To start, we're going to go into settings, click on camera, click record video, then select 4K at 24 FPS. Shooting in 4K at 24 frames per second gives your videos a nice filmic quality while also taking advantage of the full resolution available. With video camera apps, you can have even more control over your camera's settings. One I really like to use is Pro Camera from Coco Logix. This app allows you to manually control the focus, exposure, white balance, which allows you to adjust the tint and temperature of the colors, ISO, which affects the brightness of the shot, and the frame rate and resolution. For now, even with these basic settings and the techniques that follow, your videos will look more professional than ever. Next, stabilize your shot. Whether you're filming a talking head video or carrying your camera around vlog style, stabilizing your image is a must. Fortunately, iPhone cameras feature some built-in stabilization, but we're going to take it a step further. For talking headshots, you should always use a tripod. Yes, you could find a surface to rest your camera on and something to lean it against, but a tripod is going to give you the flexibility and control to stabilize your image and put your camera at the best angle. Generally, you wanna position your camera at eye level and frame yourself in the center from about mid chest up with your face in the upper half of the shot. Now on to vlogging. You'll almost always get a more stable shot using some kind of small tripod, like a gorilla pod or a switch pod, than you would just carrying your phone around in your hand. This is because it allows you to pull your arm closer to your body, which means you're not having to rely as much on smaller muscle groups that could get shaky after a while supporting the weight of your arm. I'm not saying that your arm is heavy or anything, just you, you know what I mean. I use a switch pod with a ball joint and an iPhone adapter to help me get a great angle while also stabilizing my shot. My favorite thing about the switch pod is how quickly I can go from vlogging mode to talking head mode. Switch pod isn't sponsoring this video, it's just a great tool and whether you're making videos with your iPhone or a DSLR, it's a must have item for your camera bag. Next, find or use a good light source. Lighting really is everything when it comes to video. The sensor in your camera is designed to capture light, so the better light we can give it, the better it's able to do its job and give you a great image. When it comes to light, we're looking for three things. Brightness. You want the brightness of your light to be sufficient enough that the iPhone doesn't have to use software to compensate. Whether you have a DSLR or an iPhone camera, lower light usually means there's more noise and grain in your video. Find a nice bright light source and try to position yourself so that the light is at a 45 degree angle and mostly illuminating one side of your face. Softness. If the light is too direct, it can cast a harsh shadow on your face. This dramatic lighting look is great if you're filming a thriller, but I'm guessing you're not trying to give off those vibes in your tutorial videos. To soften a light, you can use a softbox or lighting umbrella, or you can even put a thin white sheet in front of the light. This softens the line between the parts of your face that are lit and the parts that are in shadow, which makes for a more eye-pleasing shot. Evenness. You also wanna consider the other parts of your shot that are not the subject. It's okay for the background and the foreground elements to have some contrast, but too much contrast can make it difficult for the iPhone's camera to properly expose your shot. If your background is really dark, consider adding some lamp light or ambient light. If your background is too bright, maybe turn off some of the lights or try to shield some of the window light with a curtain. Check out this video if you wanna learn more about how to light your shots professionally. But this basic lighting setup will still make for a beautiful shot. 
Next up, audio. High quality audio is arguably more important than high quality video when it comes to the viewing experience. Fortunately, you can get good audio quality without having to get an expensive or cumbersome audio rig. Try the following two methods. Use an iPhone compatible lavalier mic. The Rode Smart Lab Plus is a broadcast quality lavalier microphone that you can use with an adapter to get great quality audio for your videos. For the best results, you wanna attach the microphone about two to three inches down from your chin. Use Apple's wired ear pods. Believe it or not, the microphone in the wired ear pods is really good. If you can't spend extra on the microphone or need to use something in a pinch, the ear pods are a great option. Part of capturing quality audio is also making sure to project and speak clearly enough for the microphone to get the best capture of your voice. You also want to eliminate as much unwanted noise like room echo and ambient sound as possible. Check out this video for a more in-depth look at how to capture great audio for your videos. Next, you'll want to monitor your shot. Part of what helps us create professional looking videos is being able to see what the camera is seeing. But if you're filming from the best camera, which is the rear camera, how can you see what you're filming? There are a few different ways to do this. Use AirPlay. If you have an Apple TV or AirPlay compatible television, you could AirPlay your shot to the screen so that you can see yourself as you shoot. Use your computer. You can use your USB charging cable and QuickTime Player's movie recording feature to use your iPhone as a video input. One of the downsides of this and the previous method is that some apps remain in portrait mode even with the camera turned sideways. Use an Apple Watch. This is one of my favorite tricks. If you have an Apple Watch, you can use it as a monitor by strapping it to your phone with the watch face facing you. Then open the camera app on your Apple Watch and you'll be able to see yourself. This is probably the tiniest monitor ever, but it's still better than nothing if you just need a little bit more confidence that you're getting a good shot. And last for this section, lock your focus and exposure. If you've spent time making your lighting perfect, the last thing you want is for your iPhone's camera to focus on the wrong thing or adjust the exposure based on some other part of your shot that isn't the subject. Before you press record, you can lock your focus and exposure by pressing and holding the exposure box. Then you can make your shot lighter or darker by moving the slider next to the exposure box up or down. Now your focus and exposure will stay the same throughout your recording. Now that we've gone through some techniques and methods for talking head and vlogging footage, we're going to cover a few tips for shooting B-roll. B-roll increases the professionalism of your video because it makes the viewing experience more engaging. You can collect pre-filmed B-roll from stock video sites like pixabay.com or storyblocks.com, but if you wanna try your hand at collecting your own B-roll, follow these tips. First, use slow motion. A big part of what makes the shot look more professional is how smooth the shot is. If your camera appears shaky, it takes away from the professionalism and can be distracting. One trick for getting around this is using slow motion. Slow motion makes small movements and camera shake less noticeable. There are a few things you wanna keep in mind to get the most out of this tip. Hold the phone as close to your body as possible and use your body as the motion. The further away you hold the phone, the more likely you'll get a shaky shot. Try drawing your elbows into your body and producing the camera movement with your legs and your body rather than your arms. Elbows, six inches from the waist, 90 degree angle. Don't you bite your lips, stop it. Turn off strobing lights. Some light sources create a strobing effect when shot in slow motion. If you notice this effect after you play the video back, try to identify and turn off the lights that are causing it. Move in a straight line. Whether you're moving from side to side or away from or toward your subject, imagine the camera is moving on a straight fixed line. Next, use the time-lapse feature. Time-lapse is a great video technique for speeding up an otherwise tedious scene or showing the passing of distance or time. To make the most of this technique, be sure to use a tripod on a surface that won't be disturbed for the duration of your shoot and lock your focus and exposure before pressing the record button. Currently, the iPhone's time-lapse camera will condense to about 20 to 40 seconds regardless of how long you film. If you need a sequence that's longer than that, you can film in normal mode and speed up the footage during your edit. Finally, regardless of what kind of camera you use, tell a story with your shots. Part of what makes B-roll interesting and engaging is that it follows some kind of narrative. The story you tell with your shots doesn't have to be complex, it just has to take us from point A to point B. You can do that with a series of shots that follows a chronological timeline, like using four to five shots of making the perfect cup of coffee. You could do that with two shots, one wide and one tight, establishing the setting of your video. 
you could get creative and use certain imagery as a kind of metaphor for what you're talking about in your video. The more you experiment with shooting B-roll, the better it will be and the more comfortable you'll feel while shooting it. So that concludes this video about how to shoot professional quality video with your iPhone. I'd love to see what you're working on. So if you've made videos with your iPhone or you have a YouTube channel, share a link in the comments. If you found this video helpful and you want more content like this, click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll be sure not to miss any future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.